Welcome back. So a friend of mine recently asked me what would be a good pose uh, or exercise to do for uh, hip replacement. And um, today's practice, even though this is not a yoga pose per se, but it really allows you to work on the um, abductor muscles uh, and real subtle muscles around the hips area to help them strengthen and stabilize. For this pose, you may need a pillow or if you don't have a pillow or a bolster would be great. Uh, basically, you want to lie down on your side with the pillow in between your knees, just like this, and get really comfortable on your upper body. So you can either lie down all the way with another pillow under your head, or you can rest your hand under your head. And the knees are going to be 90 degree angle, to, so your hip is going to be 90 degree angle, and so are the knees. And the pillow is right between the legs from the knee all the way down to the uh, shin area. And as you inhale, you just want to lift the knee away, keeping the foot on the pillow, and then just lower down gently. And move through this very consciously and intentionally, as if you have a hand pressing the knee down and you're pushing against the knee or against the hand. So do this really consciously. It doesn't really matter how many of these you do. It's really the quality of it that counts. You can begin by setting a um, number a goal for yourself. For example, you can start with 10 on one side and then do 10 on the other side. But really be conscious. You can even close your eyes and lift your knee up with your in inhalation and lower down with your exhalation so that you connect the movement of your leg with your breath. And in this way, you stay connected with the movement as opposed to just swinging the leg up and down. So inhaling, lift. Exhaling, lower. And even though I don't have any hip issues, I already feel this exercise in the hip. So it really is a subtle yet very effective exercise. And then when you're ready, just switch sides. So come on up. Taking the pillow away. You want to lie down on your side first. And then the pillow goes right in between the knees. Your hip is in a 90 degree angle, and so are the knees. And you come down, so get yourself really comfortable in the upper body. You can put a pillow underneath your head if you like to, or a block might be nice. And then once you're ready, take a deep inhalation and lift your knee up, and then just lower. So your foot stays down on the pillow. All you're doing is separating the knees from each other. And again, set a goal of how many of these you want to do. You can start with 10 and perhaps work your way up to 15 or 20. And if you have perfectly healthy hips, this may be a really good exercise for um, if you're a runner or a hiker or a bicyclist or even a skier, this is a great warm up for skiing for the ski season. And, and like I said before, really be conscious of the movement. So you're not just swinging your leg up and down, really lift up. As you lift up, imagine a hand pressing your knee down. So you're creating that isolation as the knee lifts away from the lower knee. And then do this for as long as you like to. You might even begin to just do this in front of the TV if you're watching TV in the evening or reading a book. Just kind of add it to your regular daily exercise program. And then once you're ready, just remove 
a block or a blanket or a pillow. And you can lie down on your back, draw the knees to your chest, move a little side to side, making sure that your lower back is nice and comfortable. You can draw one knee to your chest and then the other knee to your chest. And then very slowly roll over to one side and press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Close your eyes once again. Take a deep breath in, bring in your hands to your heart center. Thank you for allowing me to share this with you today. Namaste.